you've clicked in this video these are act these are the best ways to study your bible get more out of it and ultimately get closer with god i believe if you clicked on this video you probably um, have a hard time studying the bible or you start one week or consistent or three days then you completely go off key um try these techniques for sure they will work for you so number one find a time and a day don't just leave it to chance um, anything you care about you'll make time for talk to that girl cook your favorite meal go watch a movie whatever it may be whatever you love enough or whatever you want to really really do you will find time you don't want to exercise you know so you will still go to the gym you know you don't want to have your shower but you have to say you don't stink you know so it's like a routine you should have a routine to study your bible like it's just like school take it as school people view god as you know then view life as so people take life as serious and take god not you you have to take god seriously I, I i don't know like there's another way to put it you have to take god seriously the way you take your health seriously you take your family seriously, you take your work seriously you have to take god seriously the the if not it won't work so you need a routine like okay when i wake up in the morning um so like for me now when i wake up in the morning if i'm not like feeling so like energetic to pray i just get up and start doing like push-ups i start doing some kickboxing so you need a routine when i wake up in the morning i shower and i pray uh then i study my bible or when i wake up in the morning the first thing i do is read my bible if your head is like that clear you can do it everybody's different don't forget always try stuff until you find out what works for you it's so important check the time am i a morning person for me i enjoy working in the night so i really enjoy working out in the night i enjoy reading my bible in the night but because my work is actually currently it's from afternoon to night i have to sleep you know later in the day so later in the night so i can wake up earlier in the day but i'm moving soon to canada time will not change again for me which i think will be probably better uh so what works for you you know like and then don't it should not be like i must read it only in the morning you can read your bible in the afternoon in the night and why is it good to read the morning it's like prayer the bible says um, have you commanded your day you know sometimes you need a word of of encouragement like you need to just pick up your bible you know get the necessary nutrients you need for the day for your mental space your mental health so i will advise that morning is always better like you must and don't forget you it's not like you're reading a whole chapter you can read just the verse you know uh so yeah it's so important take take the word of god seriously that is like it's so important it's crazy take the word of god seriously make a time make a day put an hour the time to like you know how you get into deep work just oh for 15 minutes for five minutes just remember i said for exercising if you can't exercise for like 10 minutes don't say you exercise for 30 minutes or an hour exercise for two minutes do two pushes on and done so i will read my bible for one minute in the morning once i wake up easy once i have my breakfast once i have my once i exercise you know oh during my break time at work um or my lunch time at school or in the night so find a time and it'll work for you another one find a version that works for you um fortunately and unfortunately most people don't get king james so if you're not getting king james that doesn't mean you are a dumb christian or a dumb person or like because sometimes you're just trying to just know who this god is you might not be a christian yet and you want to test god out and you're saying thou shall not thou he no 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 find what works for you um for me personally i like tpt i like ceb uh i like um nlt and niv so check what works for you like and also message translation msg uh oh i love amplified sometimes so like you must not stick to one just just like reading a textbook there are let's say there are textbooks for let's anatomy there are five different authors the first two i might not vibe with them the remaining three i will vibe with them so if you vibe with a certain uh, 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 pattern of the bible you should go for that that is what speaks to you more that is your truth that is your north star because if it's not fun 
if it's not easy you won't do it so example um it's just like being disciplined or being uh productive it's not mainly about doing the hard thing the, do the hard thing that you enjoy get what i mean do the hard thing that you enjoy it's so important do the hard thing that you enjoy because if you do the hard thing you don't enjoy most likely you either will not continue will not think about it or you will not even do it my pen must fail yeah so sit down so i'll just be doing a little bit of recap as i'm going number one right time zone make it important fix it in your day secondly okay what verse works for me what verse do i sit down and i easily digest it's just like a career I might not be good at, good at medicine, I might not be good at being um, an engineer, but if you give me a football, I work wonders. So you might not be able to understand King James, NIV, TPT, NLT, but when somebody, once you like open, amplified, just get it. So that, that will work for you, to be honest. Number three, what is your why? Is It's just like, as I said, like, it goes back to number one. You, it has to be serious. You have to take the word of God seriously. What is my why? Why do don't be like, oh, today I open Genesis. Why? Today I open Proverbs. Why? I've been hearing a lot about Malachi or Matthew. Oh, well, I think Jesus was born. Oh, Easter is next. No, no, no. Like, don't go in chronological. Uh, do not go in um, alphabetical order or chronological order. Sit down. What? do i need from the bible right now it's just like a textbook there is a timetable uh okay i need to study about when when, when i focus a bit of on, on anatomy because um i was a medical student now i'm a doctor um so like uh, example you want to read and you're like okay oh I, oh even i'm also trading right now so i can use that also so you can be like oh i want to understand fibonacci movement fibonacci trading so okay so when you open the text but you're looking for fibonacci you're not just opening looking for bullish bearish or anatomy you want to understand how um the the muscle works you will not start reading about the brain or the bone like there is a system you want to bake i want to bake like in, oh it's so good i want to bake cake you don't enter and start bringing out uh, um pasta then tomato sauce and no, no no i want to bake cake so what do you do you sit down get your 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 um, flour your yeast you know you put the thing get the cake ready or the bread so everything has a protocol so for me how i do it is that oh number three i like okay i need more wisdom right now i go to google yes what um, um bible verse that talks about wisdom boom you know oh I, i'm struggling with being selfish bible verse talks about being selfish Oh, I'm struggling with um, I'm giving. I'm struggling with uh, I'm discipline. What does the Bible? I'm with with making money. You know, like Bible talks so much about money. Like a lazy man, little miserable slumber. Poverty will come on you. Don't forget, God gives you the power to make wealth. Like there are there are. Oh, I'm I'm not feeling so good right now. Uh, 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 the, the, the Bible talks about like healing your heart or about being sick. So like what do you need what is your why why because if you wake up in the morning and you don't have a drive or desire i'm sorry you will not read the bible so what is your why why are you waking up uh, why are you opening you version or the hard copy uh, i think it's bible hub something like that like why are you doing it like there must be a reason your why will always bring you up your why will always bring you out of your rot to be honest like that just like i'm speaking to you hit me hard because two weeks ago i was in a rut and then what brought me was my, my why my four major goals that i will if i like if i don't accomplish them this year i'll be so sad so what is your why for reading the bible to forget the streaks or oh i have read the whole bible no it's not about pleasing people you know it's about like okay i want to read the bible because i want to learn more about love about loyalty about God himself, about the Holy Spirit, about Jesus. I want to understand Easter. That's, uh, this video is um, yeah, 24th of March. Easter is next week, Sunday, 31st of March. I want to, uh, like, you need a why. With a why, you will have the ability to choose where or what you want to read, to be honest. Number four, 
you have to pray it's just like um i would say coffee and water you know if you're just taking the whole powder of coffee like that something's wrong with you like i just thought about it and it made me feels kind of way you know or even protein powder you know i'm into a bit of gymming and stuff like that so the raw protein powder mm, the raw um pre-workout powder i hate oh my god i can't take pre-workout with warm water it's i speed it out in bible even god says you cannot be lukewarm you have to be hot or cold or he will speed you out like we are made in god's image like i personally maybe you can but i cannot take pre-workout with warm water it's so bad oh my god it's so bad it's actually very bad but yeah you have to pray the way you mix water and your powder water and your sugar that's how they go together so you'll be like okay lord i'm here today um so god i made time boom lord okay oh i understand king james better boom that's number two number three okay god my wife said i'm struggling with even pornography i'm struggling with lust show me what what to um uh, um read you know um now i found the the verses in google as i go to the bible let this word speak life to me the bible says that the, that the books are sealed the spirit will open them for you because you can read it and not get life but you're like okay god so the bible says in proverbs 17 18 um it is wrong or foolish for you to cover someone else's debt like um, because i like example i always lose money i uh it's one thing to make money one thing to keep money most people don't even make money the people that make money don't know how to keep the money so god i keep i pay my tithes uh but I, oh, I don't pay my tithes you know it's kind of so like okay what does god say about fighting god let this word speak life to me okay god let this word bring me understanding then you read it don't rush it don't if you're distracted don't do it sit down you know you're reading bro let's let, say the book of proverbs chapter 17 then you read verse 1 verse 2 verse 3 you know take your time no rush verse 4 you can read the whole chapter one line can just stick out to you know, like hmm for me that's why i keep referring to 17 18 um because i usually like to carry all, all my friends burden all my family's burden and it weighs a lot on me i'm like god it's really stressful then like how do i live a better life but, but but still help them the bible says if it's in your power help somebody don't tell them to go away when let's say somebody say oh bro can you help me with um with a drink you have the juice in your room why tell the person oh go and i'll come back i'll think up no, no no you give it to the person you know like i will i usually cover people's debt like don't worry i got you and when i say when, when i say i got you actually but i got you to the end but it takes a lot of toll on me and i'm like okay, go what, what how do i do that better when i said the bible i said it's foolish to cover someone else's debt instead just be there for them right if um the person is in in a huge situation instead of covering a person's financial issue you can be like okay i might not have the money now but i'm working towards it don't cut yourself don't kill like bro the bible is magnifique believe me believe me number five just like i, I think i already said number four uh highlights right like when you read if a verse sticks out to you if the whole chapter six sticks out to you that's where i believe you should stop take a pause like you you just got your rema you just got your light so you just be like okay why is this verse bullet there's there's um one scripture like oh lord teach us to number our days and apply our hearts to wisdom us as young people we always you know behave as if we have all the time in the world we have a lot of time but that doesn't mean we should misuse it because after a while you will become old if you like it or not and stuff will happen so like it's that verse like now oh lord teach me number my days hmm. am i wasting my time holy ghost lord speak to me oh you can now meditate from behind me i pace around my room i walk around a bit i rock around a bit i walk around a bit i'm like hmm, hmm. then i can now find support in scriptures um we, i love um you version because it has that thing on ipads 
I think computers on the phone though you can compare scripture the Bible says compare scripture with scripture you can get the scripture compare with another one you can even uh, uh um get a translation divided your reading uh amplify your reading c b you're like okay I'm like just get to studying bro it's just like when you want to trade forgive me that example like after you read something sticks out to you you go to the market see if you can practice what you you just learned it really helps highlight it meditate on it you know if if mentally works for you like lying down so for me i can't lie down to meditate i'm sorry i sleep over i'll yawn i'll be so bored so i have to work work around with no music just that verse in my head you know sometimes i can do like rain draws but not like somebody else like that music just like sounds and like okay 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 it's entering so highlight uh number six is i think i keep adding them up and everything is take it easy bro take it easy as i said once you find a verse chill you're not in a rush nobody's rushing you to finish the bible in 30 days in 365 days no 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 no. you take a chill pill bro it's just like the gym progressive overload uh at first i'll go to the gym i can only lift 20 kg it's fine i don't have to impress anybody 20 kg when i feel like 20 kg is sufficient i've overgrown that i can now go to 25 kg you know i, I don't know if i told you guys i made a mistake uh two weeks ago I, I had a burst of energy normally i burn 300 to 400 calories a day but like two weeks ago i did 30 minutes of workout i was like nah it's not enough i went like one hour i'm not joking 15 minutes i felt sore i felt good i was dripping sweat i had my bath second the third day i was like what what i'm like I- i'm grown i'm grown like two months of consistency i'm grown i now changed my apple watch to i'll be burning 800 calories a day now 700 least easy easy and uh, as you know i crashed i think that's why I I I, 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 I I like i burned out then last week i had to get off the rut because it was now so much for me because some days you will wake up feeling awesome some days you don't feel like feeling awesome like for two weeks straight i was feeling like i was on top of the world i don't know what happened i was just feeling so energetic and i think with food i'm, I'm food is so important so yeah let's take it easy so i've gone back to 300 calories a day so now i'm, I'm gonna move you to 350 then 400 so oh i read I'm, I'm, i read five verses in a day in a week you know in a month maybe you are those five verses are like guiding you and stuff you know like take your time progressively we tend to rush a lot i i tend to rush a lot like i need it quick i need it fast i need it hot you know but god and life will teach you be patient it's not it's not in the lightning the thunder it's in the still small voice <laughs> so number seven yeah as i said you should apply it in your life you should you should look up how can this word be applicable in my life my 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 um cell meeting um this month we have been working on reading proverbs the whole chapter and because we're doing the challenge and stuff i mistakenly started rushing to the scriptures again and i had to call myself back i feel like you will never get it always perfectly if you always do kudos to you but like uh, uh sometimes you fall off the wagon uh you fall off the wagon uh so i like, was like oh i'm nelson you're going too fast once we're done with this challenge this month i will go back to reading one verse and staying on that verse once it reflects to me like i read the whole of 17 for 17 18 and for like two weeks because it's my life i give myself to my friends a lot it burns me out uh i'm like okay god how do i i want to give to my friends but not give out my own life anymore because people don't give their life to me the way i give my life to them and no matter how much you say or don't expect after a while you're human right you're human it will happen to you you know uh, so i'm like okay so i want to help my friends i want to be there for them but i don't want to to go tooth and nail i will just go out me before a limb i will try my best but if it's going to inconvenience me i'm going to just back out of it yeah so um the scripture 17 18 it's not wise to promise anybody you cover their debts you know 
it's just for me now that's my to you you might not get it you might read another scripture about wisdom or love and you're like whoa and i read i'm like i don't get it. everybody have different things everybody goes to different seasons in their life because truthfully takers never know when to stop taking so we give us we gotta know when to stop giving the bible says love your neighbor as yourself not more than yourself i love the bible guys get get on it get it if you're not a christian just read it it is good it has wisdom it has what you need man yeah oh yeah yeah i wrote a scripture down here it touched my heart psalm 71 21 it says thou O lord shall increase my greatness and comfort me on all sides um, if you didn't know this i was or oh, i am a refugee from ukraine two years ago the whole war thing it's it was so crazy 2022 yeah left ukraine february was so crazy um ran for my life pepper spray guns bro like movie i left i i lived it you know and uh i was like in my heart i hope i like god hope my life will get better i'm scared and stuff like that i don't know where i'm going i entered romania they didn't want us to stay for some reason or whatever um i moved was going to germany so i passed through hungary vienna came to germany did not know anybody for 11 months i was changing accommodations believe me if you have changed houses 11 times in 11 months so per month we're changing and it's not like close location so imagine maybe i we i don't even know where to use you know example yeah today you're in america tomorrow you're in canada the next day you're in america again then you're in canada like far distances and oh lord increase my grin and comfort me on all sides it 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 helped it helped a lot so find your rema find your notes during the bible and meditate on it your life will be so much better that was its power of life and death in your tongue so that can speak to you so mind what you say don't just say anything you know i'm emotional it is what it is number eight i don't do this a lot like but we're doing it this month as i said with my cell meeting group um reading a community sometimes if you're struggling to read if you've prayed you've made time you have found the verses you read for your situation you because um currently like sorry everybody are going through something so let's say currently you're still going through something you, you can read a verse if that's not working you highlight something you meditate you need counsel the bible says a wise person seeks counsel so go into a community of people that you trust of course and even not comfort them doing your problem just tell them that you don't know how to read the bible and uh, uh to keep you accountable is very good and also a um, new version helps it does like it strictly my high trick was 127 days it 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 had its purposes and then unfortunately and i'm human i misused it uh I was like, okay i was like oh it kept me that it kept me accountable my bible, my bible every day but then i now just wanted the numbers so when you notice you're going off course you know thank god that you're going off that he showed you that you're going off course and he has shown that you should be coming back to him so whenever for me like whenever i remember this prayer I remember my my spiritual father or like i mean he he told me like almost seven years ago so it was like oh lord if i'm making a mistake whenever i remember grace to come back you know because sometimes you make a mistake and you realize when you're already at the end of the road and it's really difficult so if you cannot you know these things are not helping you and stuff like that get a community that you trust don't forget that you trust and then you know talk to them about reading the bible and they should help you they will show you the ropes you know what i mean and lastly as nike says just do it i love that like for me like now nike that is a verse for me you know that's my verse. just do it don't overthink it don't i want to start the bible open it up oh i'm lacking in wisdom bible says if you ask god he gives it liberally gives it for free you know just do it if you're having difficulty in something pray to god believe like challenge this deity you believe in you know so you know if you're wasting your time and just do something else don't be scared to challenge god the bible says he loves to hide things and is he is honor of kings to find what um the lord has hidden 
I would say kings and queens because the Bible always refers to both genders when he's uh, uh, um, speaking in the Bible. So yeah, try these nine steps. I believe these sort of things will help your life. Again, if you like this, if this helped you in any way, meant to you, meant something to you anyway, like, share, subscribe, and uh, yeah, see you in the next video. I mean, and again, do the work when you don't feel like it. You will thank yourself for it in the future, okay? Alright, thank you and bye-bye.